Hey guys, welcome back and happy St. Patty's Day. Let's make a DIY water filter. So if you watched my DIY mask video, which I will link right here, then you know that I used this activated carbon in here. And I got to thinking because I've received so many requests about how to do a DIY water filter. So I racked my brain and this is what I came up with. Now I created a little sheet for you so you guys can just kind of watch this tutorial. It's on my website and it's linked down below. So basically you just need any kind of a bottle. You could use like an empty barbecue bottle, anything. It really doesn't matter. I just happened to run out of this. Insert tears here because I love that stuff. And you just cut the bottom off. And then these are the rags that I also mentioned in that video. And you can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot or you could just use an old t-shirt, whatever you want. But cut it in half in kind of a diagonal and then just give it a loose roll. And it's better if you wash this and dry it before you use it because it does help to tighten up the fibers and then use our friend Mr. Scissors and shove it down there into the neck because you're trying to pack it pretty tight so that you get the best level of filtration possible. And the reason for the things that I'm using is because, um, and these are cotton pads, or you can just use cotton, whatever floats your boat, um, is because I see a lot of people asking me, you know, hey, I don't have activated carbon, the loose pellets, and I, and I don't have sand and all these things, so I'm just trying to build something that pretty much anybody could retrofit to whatever they have. Now, I do have this activated carbon sheet, and if you had the loose pellets, you could just use loose pellets, but we're just gonna use the bottom of that bottle as our guide and cut three little sheets. And our friend, Mr. Scissors, shows up again. Um, you know, you don't have to use that, guys. It's, it's just to help pull out more contaminants and potentially improve the um, smell and taste, but it, it's not really, you know, you don't have to use it in there. So if you don't have it, don't freak out. Just use black beans. We're using this um, in place of like gravel, which is in so many of these videos, but I don't have gravel. And baking soda, we're gonna use this instead of sand. Also, cause baking soda, right? It helps to clear and clean everything. So just kind of shake it down a little bit. And guys, the purpose of this part one, and in a minute here, I'm gonna upload part two, which is how to actually disinfect your water this water is nasty gross we're just trying to pull the contaminants out right now so that we have something that we can work with that we can then decontaminate right now we're just purifying i'm just going to add the rest of the water i'm not oh no no that was wrong i'm sorry y'all had to see that and you can see it takes a while to just and it's you know if you can squeeze it you're going to make it come through faster but thanks to the power of editing this little guy went through pretty well and so what we end up with is water that is not perfectly clear, but guys, um, do you remember what that water looked like a minute ago? Look at that. It's cloudy, but I would drink it if I was thirsty. But we're going to disinfect it and make it even better. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to click like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications to see my next video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.